Hi everyone, in this video, we'll be learning how to design components in Framer and also add scroll. We will be making some really cool components like working carousels. If you're watching this video on YouTube, I suggest go to the link in the description to follow along in Framer. That will help you out a lot. All right, so in the previous episode, we basically exported all our designs from Figma to Framer. And we also learned how to make default components work for us. If you try out the application, we can see that all the input fields can actually be entered with the real data, as well as the button here has a nice little default animation that Framer already has for this default button. Now that that is done, we will today be working on the main screen, working with custom components that we can make on our own and scroll areas for some amazing carousel designs. So to begin with, we will be creating a basic carousel on top here to display some posters. To start off, I will just remove this blue layer right here. Now I have this frames component on the top. I can always drag it out here and I will create a basic frame. The size here is 375 and the in this case it is the width is uh, 375 as well as the height is 413 for a accurate prediction. So now I am going to add an image inside this frame without even leaving Framer. So on the right, we have this option called fill. I will click on the fill option. Inside this, we have this image button. If I click on image, I can then move ahead and click on this unsplash to get images directly from an unsplash. This is perfect. Now, of course, I will go ahead and type in the search box here, clothes. Once that is done, as you can see, we have various clothing pictures right here. I will just pick one of these. I think this one is perfect for us. I'll just click on it and this will add this image automatically to the area or the frame that we had earlier. Once that is done, I'm just going to select this frame here and say Command D or Control D on the keyboard to duplicate it. And if I drag it out just like this, as you can see, we have a duplicate and I'll drag it out outside the frame and align it perfectly. Of course, I can then again change the image by going to the right properties panel here and changing the image and just selecting another image from Unsplash. Now I've designed three frames with three different images right here. I will then go ahead and place a title. To do that, I'll click on T on the keyboard and then I'll go ahead, click anywhere here and say and type in Christmas sale. After I've done that, I can go to the right panel here and under the properties panel, we will find the font here. I will click on the font and I'll search for my favorite font, which is Nanito Sans. I can even go ahead and search for fonts on Google. I think that's great. Now I have styled the text to be white and slightly larger and I have placed it at the top. Uh, I want it to be 24 pixels from the left and about 32 pixels from the top to have it perfectly aligned. As you can see, I have stylized all three carousels with different titles here. And what I'll be doing now is be shifting this main item from inside here to outside the frame right here and I will just align it perfectly. I will then go ahead and click on the scroll panel once again, and I'll drag out and create our very own scrollable area, so as to say. Now I want all three of these to be one carousel, so I will place them close to each other, and then I will drag out to select all of these. The next step is to right click on it and say add frame. This will add a singular frame around all these elements. I can of course adjust them to make it look better. And on the left, I can always select this blue area and on the right at the bottom, I have this option of content. I will then click on that and, and select the carousel from there. And as you can see, the carousel is now a part of this scroll area. Now, if I go ahead and play it from this preview button, I can see if I scroll around, I can scroll through all these scrollable items. For these cards as well, we will be creating a carousel very similar to this one. So I'll just drag out one of these cards to create a basic frame and I'll right click and say add frame. Once I've done that, I can always remove the blue area. Of course, I have now stylized it just like we did earlier. So you can always pause the video, continue with it and then come back to the same point. And now I will create another scroll area just like we did before. And to create one single component out of these three, I will just drag out, select all three and say right click and add frame. 
And of course, the frame now has a white background. To remove that, I'll click on the frame right here. Go to the right and click on this little cross icon to remove the fill from the background. Perfect. I'll then, of course, click on horizontal scroll, uh, go to the bottom and change the content to this other carousel. Looking good, I can always adjust it by dragging out and adjusting the size of the carousel and placement of it. Now, towards the bottom, we have these three little cards. We'll treat them as cards and not as a carousel. Now is where the custom components come into play. To create a component, all I need to do is click on the frame button right here and drag out to create a box first while holding shift, of course. Now, if I move forward, I can right click and then say, create a component. What that does is it converts this into a component. And as you can see, the component has a purple outline and also it's highlighted with purple. Now moving forward with the steps, I will just drag out while holding option and that will duplicate this component to create a child component. We'll create three. So if any change is made to this parent component, it will also reflect in all these child components. For example, if I change the color of this parent component to a white from the pop properties window, see that all these components are now white. That's perfect. Now to space these out perfectly, as you can see, it's not spaced properly. I will, I will hold shift and select all of these and right click and, and click on add a stack. Add stack allows us to convert any frame or set of frames into a stack. Now on the right, the properties are horizontal, of course. We want to change the, I want to change the distribution option to space around rather than all these other options. Moving on, everything else is fine. We'll leave it to that. Now, and now what I'll do is align it so that it is 24 pixels from the left as well as 24 pixels from the right. Ah, now that is absolutely perfect. Now I will also decrease the size of the parent component. And as you can see, all the element size is also changing. And I want a perfect 16 pixel difference between each of these. Change the border radius from the properties here. Just change the radius to a 12. And we have this perfect circular borders. I will then also go ahead and change the parent component color and that will change everything here as well. I can of course fiddle with the colors of each child component without affecting the parent component just by doing this normally as we would do. Now the color is set, I want to place in some text, so I'll, and I'll just type in S, it also showcases is on, on all the child components. At the end, we have all these various texts here. Now we can always go to this insert button and then go to project components that allows us to see all the components that we've used inside our project. Now at the top also, I want to create a little component converted. I have cleared out the navigation bar at the top that we had placed and I will click on insert, go to default components and click on this little option called icon set. If I click on icon set, I can always adjust the size and everything and place it towards the top right. And at the bottom here, towards the properties window, if I scroll to the bottom, we have an option called icon and I can always change the icon to whatever we like. In this case, I want to search for search and convert it to a search bar. Ah, see, and we can of course adjust the color and everything since it's an SVG. Select everything on the navigation bar and right click and say add component or create component. And then we can see these components stacked up in this project components area right here. So that was it for today's video. In the next episode, we will be looking on how to animate everything and add interactions into our little prototype right here. I will see you in the next video with some amazing content. 